Listen, as somebody that has worked in media her entire career, I definitely do not know how to teach my daughter how to code. So there's this place called Code Ninjas. I've been super curious about it. So I decided to bring my daughter and some of her friends to find out what it's all about. How do we know when things are supposed to start in a game? Learning different languages like Scratch, HTML, Java, yeah, a different kind of different language. Here with Jimmy Tran, who is the owner of Code Ninjas. Okay, what even is coding for people who are feeling very foreign with this concept? Well, Jenny, thanks for having us. Coding is really a way to communicate with computers and also for computers to communicate with each other. So coding is a language just like learning French sure. or English or Spanish, just a new language. And you're doing this through games with the kids here, right? We are. We love to make it interactive. So at Code Ninjas, kids learn coding through games. So they create games, and rather than consuming content online, what they're doing is creating. Yeah, I think that was the big question. Sometimes parents think, ah, oh, more time on a computer, that's not what my child needs. Explain how this is different than maybe somebody just, just scrolling or viewing content or looking at YouTube videos. Sure. Well, at our center, and you can see we have a lot of interactive stations, we have a lot of computers. What kids are doing aren't just, they aren't just sitting back and letting the content hit them. Mm -hmm. They are actually creating and pushing mm -hmm. things out and thinking and interacting with computers. So it's a very different type of technology usage. None of us know what our kiddos are going to be when they grow up. But explain why this this is beneficial regardless of what industry they go into. Sure. Well, at Code Ninjas, we really believe that coding is the future. Technology is the future. Yeah. We all live in a technology-enabled world. So no matter if your kid enters law or medicine or broadcasting, mm -hmm. there is going to be technology in that field. Absolutely. And so what we do at Code Ninjas is we get kids comfortable, acclimated, and interested in technology so that they can be productive in what ever field they pursue. And it's sort of self-taught or self-paced. Explain how that works when they sign up. Sure. So we have a ninja theme. So students <laughs> are that. ninjas. Instructors are called senseis. And if you look around our center here today, uh, we have nine belts. And so students, our ninjas, start as white belts and then they end as black belts. There are nine levels throughout. And so that whole thing is self-paced. And as students progress along, they are are continually challenged, but it's on a pace that is comfortable to them. You have to tell everybody about the final project. That is super, super cool. So at the end, we are all based on, on games. So at the end, students create a game that is specific to them. They designed it from scratch, mm -hmm. from A to Z, and that is a black belt. The final project is a game that they create and then release out into the universe. Yes! yes. I kids. Now talk about what the little ones were doing today. There was a, a sort of early learning activity with the blocks and then we got more advanced. Sure. We work with kids as young as four, believe it or not. You don't have to know how to type, you don't have to know how to read to code. So with our juniors, they're working with very tactile, mm -hmm. tactile things. So we have blocks, we have coding via blocks that link to an iPad. And from there, they use block-based coding before they move into script-based coding. So we work with young ones as, as, as young as four, and then we go all the way up to 14. Look, they are teaching them to think like an engineer from what's the problem, do my research, what are my requirements, all the way down to share my results and the results for you is this if you come in for a complimentary tour they will offer you some back to school specials just of course mention that you saw the story here on CW 33 and we'll put the details on our website Bye.